Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, a change that has been rolling out and is apparently now close to being on 100% of all people using Chrome as their main browser is the fact that now Chrome will automatically go to a maximum security of HTTPS or HTTP secure. What does that mean? So when you go to websites, um, what happens with Google Chrome is that there are two types of HTTP sites. One is secure and one is unsecure. There are still out there unsecure websites. Now, the difference is that when you have this little lock which tells you that you're on a secure connection, HTTPS. It means that from the browser itself to the website, the server, everything is encrypted. It's automatic. So nobody can snoop on what's happening between both computers. The HTTP without an S is an open connection, it means that what is being sent out as no encryption can be detected, can be snooped on by everybody. Now, there are still out there some websites that are HTTP only. The reason behind this is simple, is that there needs to be sometimes a fee on some uh, websites for uh, upgrading to secure because it needs a certificate. So um, it's not important on some websites, I got one that I go to that has um, a listing, a text listing of, of schedules that I, I don't care. It's, it's not nothing sensitive for me. So I don't care that that could be snooped on personally. But where this is important is because sometimes you might have in your uh, favorites, in your bookmarks, a website that you bookmarked a long time ago that brings you to a unsecure version of a website. Well, what's going to happen now is that when you go to the secure version of a website, when you go to a, a, a website actually that has secure connection capabilities, that's what I mean, really, the browser is going to automatically check every time, okay, you're sending me to this unsecure site, HTTP. I'm going to check if there's a HTTPS version for security. If there is, I'm going to switch to that automatically. And that's what's happening now. And it's happening, apparently, Google says it's happening now on every browser. They started slowly rolling it out on October 16th. But now it's everywhere. Two things can be changed. One, it doesn't prevent you from going to a website that's not secure. So it's not going to prevent you at all. It's just going to check if there's a secure version of the site. But if there isn't, it's not going to prevent you from going. But also on the server side, any um, server that has a website and that wants some users to go on a unsecure site for some reason, well, they'll be able to just add a flag that tells Google Chrome, oh, can you just downgrade back to HTTP? It's for some reason it's better here. Uh, and the reason behind this is that some unsecure website might have content or do things that secure websites do not. So when you go there, if you go click a certain link, maybe it's going to switch between secure and secure. It depends on the website. But you know, um, honestly, today, every website should have HTTPS encryption, but there's still a lot of that not happening. But if there is a secure version of any website you visit, Chrome now automatically pushes you to the secure site. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.